Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be trying out the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation. And I already dropped it. So this retails for, uh, I really don't want to say the price, $60. We all know NARS is very, very expensive, but God damn. So this is January, of course. This is my birthday month. So I wanted to like go get my little birthday gift. And also this is finally sold at the Sephora store and sell exclusively online. So I was like, you know what? I gotta go get it. I want it. Done deal. So I got it in the shade Punjab. And when I was trying to get this, almost every single Sephora store was out of the shade. I had to like call the Sephora stores. I'm like, I just wanted to make sure because there's no point for me to drive over there. And next thing you know, oh yeah, we don't have it anymore. So Basically what the Sephora girl told me was each store only was sent a certain amount, like four or five, and I guess when they were sent that, everyone else just went crazy and just got like the shades and I guess Punjab is a popular shade and that was one of the first to go. So luckily Yorkdale had this, I had it on hold and it's in my hands. They also came out with six new uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer shades. Um, I got in the shade Cafe Con Leche. I usually use custard, but I felt that that was more like, it was too similar to, to my skin tone. So I want something a little bit more brighter. Um, of course, for brighten the under eyes. So anyways, let's get into this review, shall we? I find this very interesting because the moment I open it, it does say shake well. Oh, it doesn't really say it, but there's an image saying shake well. Um, so in case you guys didn't know, this is what the bottle looks like. You do get a fluid ounce, pretty standard, and it is glass. So I know like with the Huda Beauty, everyone says it's like a cheap plastic. Um, this is actual glass. I, I think that's good enough. So I have primed my face already and oh, so this comes with a pump. Um, everyone knows that the NARS Sheer Glow does not come with a pump. So it, it's a good thing, I guess, that this comes with a pump, but Nars, step it up with this one, please. Like, you you still get a fluid ounce for both of them. This one's just shorter and fat, and this is longer and skinnier. Um, but I still wish it came with a pump. So I did three pumps so far. It's not that liquidy. It's still kind of thick, but it's kind of runny a little bit but not like very very watery. Depending on the consistency of the foundation, I either use a brush or my sponge. Um, with the sheer glow, I usually use the sponge because when I use the brush it's a little streaky. Um, but because this is kind of like the Radiant Creamy Concealer but in a foundation form, I feel like it's slightly thicker. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a brush and see how that works. So I'm going to be using the Sephora uh, brush. I forgot which one it was, but this was for the VIB Rouge, you know, when you, you know, renew your status basically. I'm just going to dot slightly. I'm going to blend this up. This blends into the skin nicely. So this feels like it's like full coverage. Dang. Doesn't feel heavy right now. So I've been hearing around that this is supposed to be, um, once again, like the Radiant Creamy Concealers in a foundation. Um, and it's also supposed to be a 16 hour long wear. Normally you guys know that I basically am out for 12 hour days, um, but surprisingly this is not a work day. Uh, this is actually the weekend and Sam is at the dentist and I was too tired to really wake up so here I am. So guys, this, this is really like full coverage, holy moly. And I'm not really like a full coverage kind of girl. I don't mind sheer. Um, I don't mind medium coverage as well. Um, if I want it to be full coverage, I like it to be buildable more than anything rather than full coverage right off the bat. Um, but that's just my personal preference. 
but this is blending nicely. So once again, guys, this is looking nice. Oh God. So I had to turn down the brightness a little bit. I felt like it was a little bit too white. So right now I'm just gonna go with Cafe Con Leche. So this is like custard, but lighter. Um, so I'm just gonna use this. So just keep it like a radiant day. This is a white yellow, I believe. And I'm gonna take the shape tape in light sand to highlight my nose because I like that look. So now I'm gonna go in with the 40 HD brush and blend all that out. So I'm still getting over this cold um, when I got back from California. I was like in bed all day when I got back, it was terrible. I am just gonna finish up the rest of my face and I'll take you guys with me throughout the day. So it is now hour four with the NARS Radiant Natural Foundation. I think I got the words mixed around, but anyways. So, um, just right off the bat, I still look matte. Like, I still look flawless, I still look matte. It's not settling to my fine lines. Um, it's not settling into my smile lines either. Uh, so that is a plus. Um, do keep in mind, this is hour four right now. Also, what I forgot to do was to check on the Sephora website and see the claims on it. So give me a sec. So once again, this does retail for $60 and you, get, and you do get a standard fluid ounce. So this is supposed to be a medium full coverage foundation, first of all. It does not look medium. It was straight up full coverage. Um, it's good for, looks like it's good for all skin types and it's a natural finish. Um, I don't know, for me, when I think of natural finishes, I think of more like actual medium or even like kind of sheer coverage and something more buildable uh, to how you like it to look. Um, that's how I think of natural. Um, this is just straight up full of coverage to me. It's like glam and it's matte, like geez. Anyways, and also um, with natural, I think there's a little bit more dewiness to it rather than like an actual matte look, but that's just my opinion. Um, so what it is, it's a foundation with up to 16 hours of lightweight natural fade resistant wear, uh, featuring full power radiance to smooth the look of skin. Um, I don't see radiance, I see more matte. I don't know if it's resistant, uh, Oh, sorry, I don't know if it's fade resistant wear, um, but we'll see. Ours for 16 hour wear has a lightweight, breathable, fade resistant for formula and features medium to full, buildable coverage in 33 skin matching shades to fit all skin tones and undertones. The transfer resistant, sweat resistant formula stays color true all day and continues to look fresh and vibrant as if it was just applied. I'll agree with that claim so far. Uh, this formula features superior blendability for impeccable effect that looks natural, like skin. It doesn't look or feel cakey, heavy, drying, or masking. I will agree with that. It doesn't dry my skin out. It doesn't look like it's cakey or anything. However, it doesn't. It's not natural though. It does not look natural to me. Unique combination of translucent base with micro ionized amino acid coating pigments and mineral tone balancing uh, powders and mix skin tones infusing with, with the closest match. NARS is usually pretty good for that anyways. Uh, NARS's skin optimizing complex, a blend of raspberry, apple, and watermelon extracts helps support the skin's elastic fibers to smooth and improve skin's appearance over time for optimal radiance. So basically over time, um, your skin will get better basically. Uh, this product is also oil free, fragrance free, non drying, dermatologist tested, and non. I have no idea what this word says, uh, but non comment. I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna put the word down here. Yeah. In one week independent US consumer study of 65 participants, a 94% agreed that the foundation applies uniformly without streaking. Totally agree. 91% agree the foundation blends effortlessly. I agree. 91% uh, agreed the skin appears smooth while wearing the foundation. Agreed. 85% agree the foundation feels weightless. Agreed. And 75% agree skin looks radiant all day. It's lasting so far. Um, so there are a lot of claims to this and so far there are 60 reviews on the Sephora website um, or the app. 
and what does it look like? It looks like it's four stars, but just to be sure, yep, it's four stars out of five. There are many people who really like this, and of course there's a few who don't. Um, but right now, for me, um, because my skin type is oily, um, it looks bomb. It looks really bomb. Um, it's not caking, it's not settling. It's a good shade match as well. Um, but yeah, no complaints so far. So I'm just gonna prepare, I guess, some dinner right now. Don't know if we're gonna go out again later. Um, it's only like 4.17. Um, but anyways, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I am home now and it is 1.11 in the morning. Um, so I had this on for 13 hours now and you know what? I'm not that oily. Um, so around... I didn't get oily until about the 10th hour. Um, so it's not so bad. Um, I got a little bit oily around here, um, around the corners of the nose and around just mainly around this region here um, my cheeks are still good which is usually uh, the other areas that do get oily but overall um, it's good it's not that bad 16 hours pushing it a little bit um, I say by the 13th the 12th 13th hour um, yeah I think that's that's its peak uh, that's the most that it will probably go in my opinion and remember my skin type is um, oil, normal oily combination I do get oily um, around my t-zone yeah so overall it is a great product um, $60 worth probably not but it is NARS it is known to be quite expensive um, if you have the money to splurge on this I would definitely get it um, it's definitely like the concealer is just in the foundation form um, and it does last a while it's not like I got oily in like the fourth hour or anything I'm still pretty mad as you saw in the previous check-in but anyways I really like this product and I give this a thumbs up um, but anyways I hope you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up if you like the NARS radiant concealers and the foundation don't forget to follow me on Instagram and snapchat as well and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!